This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Hi, Jamie Davis, the Podmedic here at CES Unveiled with the Tech Podcast Network and Health Tech Weekly. You know, I'm always excited about bringing you new technologies to help monitor and keep you healthy. And I'm excited because I'm here with Reebok and their check light. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include Gazelle.com. Turn in your old iPhone into cash. Visit TPN.TV slash cash. And uh, Paul, why don't you tell us a little bit about how Checklight works and uh, what Reebok was trying to do with this amazing product. Well, thank you, Jamie. Uh, Reebok developed Checklight uh, in an effort to give the athlete and the user information about the amount of impact to the head that occurs uh, during physical activity. And the idea is that uh, what we do is we'll measure the linear acceleration and deceleration as well as the rotational forces that occur during a hit. Uh, and then we'll measure that and bracket that into one of three zones. One is an on and safety zone, another one is a moderate zone, and the other one is a severe zone. Uh, so it's a red, yellow, green light, just like a traffic light. And the intent is to inform the user when you've gotten a moderate or severe hit, and then get you on a pathway to assessment, get you, uh, get you screened and checked out, just to make sure you're okay. Now, it's not meant to you know, give you a medical assessment, like you said, but it's certainly valuable data that can give you some information on um, what's going on in your active lifestyle. Yeah, without a, without a doubt, Jamie. And the, the, the fact is, is that you never know what kind of a hit you've taken with your head because you can't gauge it. And so what this is intended to do, just to give you some data points that are uh, that can give you a scale, kind of a relative scale on what, what just occurred. And from there, you can just track that. You can keep, keep aware of what's happened to yourself and those around you who might be wearing them. And uh, it works well on team sports. It works well for individual activities and whatnot. And the, uh, the, the intent is that this device is versatile and will carry you through any activity you're doing. So we're going to come back here in a second and tell you guys a little bit about what's going on with availability and when this is going to be out there and what it might cost in just a second. We'll get back into that video to see more about this product, but first I want to let you know about Gazelle, our sponsor. You know, Gazelle is a great way to get rid of all those devices you have rattling around in that drawer in your house. You have one, I have one, I know. Now, I've used Gazelle before. In fact, every time I upgrade my phone, I figure out what my old phone is worth on Gazelle first. You can find out more about how to do this by going over to tpn.tv slash cash. Get cash for your old devices. Head over and check out Gazelle. It's easy to use. They send you a box. So so it's free shipping included, and you get cash for your old phone, your old tablet, even your old computers. Go to tpn.tv slash cash to find out more about Gazelle and get cash for your stuff. Okay, we're back, and uh, Paul, when is this going to be available for the public? Well, this is actually available already. It's been available since the early part of July in 2013. Uh, and you can get it on Reebok.com and uh, highlight the, um, the keyword check light and it'll drive you right to the site and it's got a lot of information about what the device does it has a lot of information about um, how to use it well, how you'd fit it and uh, and the versatility of it and how much is it it's 149.9 suggested retail excellent well there it is available now ways to monitor your health a little bit better while you're living an active lifestyle we're here with Reebok at CES Unveiled I'm Jamie Davis the pod medic from Health Tech Weekly remember to follow up and get more over at htweekly.com you're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. 